Um, <clears throat> uh, this morning, I watched a film called Zoo. It sounds like it might be a crazy DreamWorks yeah, that comedy good. animation. Yeah. Animals in a zoo. Yeah. It's not. It's about <laughs> it's a, dr- a dramatized documentary about a man who died whilst having sex with a horse. Yeah, yeah. And you had to watch this to review I it had on to watch it. Oh, you know, it's for it was for a review. I was on the internet all week researching <laughs> zoophilia for for the, didn't you see it on News 24? It came out. Now, until 2005, when this man called Kenneth Pinion I don't died. name him. No, he's in the papers. I'm not Poor bloke, he died having sex with a horse. Is that not shameful enough? If you enough? live in America, he's all over the place in, in Seattle. <laughs> well, he is now. <laughs> once, it's, once you've had sex with a horse, it depends if you're t- you know, the postman or the letterbox with that one, you're in trouble if you're the letterbox. And this film makes you think. It's not a sensational film. There's nothing in does it, it make you think, Does it make you think, hmm, maybe I'll have sex yeah. with a horse? But what it does, it gives it you... you think, oh, I better be careful having sex with a horse, or I might be killed. That's very true. He died of a perforated colon. Whoa! He, look, I'm just telling you what Whoa, the Too much information, sister. <laughs> but, you know, it's not good zoophile. to say zoophile, because I, lo- I really love zoos. I love going and seeing the animals caged up and not being able to run around What's properly. That? I've got I love big, that. I've got a big file of <laughs> pictures of zoos. But if I go in and say I'm a zoophile, yeah. people are going, blimey, that's the kind of bloke who probably would like to be wanked off by a panda, which yeah. is, we know is not... No, we've, we've I don't, established I that. I don't want that. No, we've established that's, I wouldn't that, even be able to imagine We've established that that would, would not <laughs> even make up for the fact that you were in an earthquake if that happened while I you think, were doing it. I think if the panda's wanking you off, then it's not, that's all right. That's, can, that is consensual. That, the, well, can, the panda has made the decision. You've, you've consented. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. It might be panda hand rape. If you love animals, you can love, for instance, you can love your own dog, love a cat, love birds, love ducks, that you kind love of stuff. Birds, yeah, but yeah. you can do that. I have a massive die, undying love for birds, for instance. Yeah. This is on the fringes of this thing which is forbidden and, let's face it, also illegal. Certainly the act is illegal. weird... Not yeah, just well, forbidden. It's not forbidden like people going, oh, I wish I could go out and have sex with a horse, but oh, it's illegal. But the thing is... It's, good, it's a shame it's illegal or I'd be out there in the field just fucking every horse I saw. But God, you listen... Thank God it's forbidden. But well, you say he didn't. You told me before he was giving, not receiving. How did he perforate his colon I if don't he was know. giving? This is the thing that I don't well, know. I think yeah. it's something to do with suction. But it doesn't really so, say... So you can... Squeeze your cock so hard. I haven't watched the last ten minutes. That of the your film. ass breaks. I haven't it's watched like the a... last two minutes of the film. Why not? Because I had to stop to come here. That's why to meet you. You had, yeah, you had to stop because you you'd enjoyed it enough. <laughs> it's an you'd artist. enjoyed it. Something had happened, and then you'd been filled with shame. There's an interview. What had happened? There's an interview. You'd be going, this is the best film I've ever seen. Oh, oh, I feel wrong. I must turn it off now. We've all been there. In the book Talking Cock by um, Richard Herring. Available through e Available, not really available. It's not available. Not available. Available for about £50. Pounds well, they're pot. Um, there's the, I talk about this subject, and a man having sex with a dolphin. Um, I don't think this exists anymore, this website. And it's not. If it does, you can look at it. And it's don't don't say what it is, then. It doesn't no, matter. It's dolphinsex.org. Don't look it up. Um, you'll be, uh, don't look it up I don't, think, I don't think it exists anymore, but it, it doesn't have pictures or anything like that. So it's no, you, know, you can't get off looking at it. The guy on there... Get, it might be a joke, but if it's a joke, he's gone into such detail thinking about having sex with a dolphin that I think he must have done so in order to facilitate his joke. Uh, he he uh, says that the, he only has sex with dolphins that consent to having sex with him. Uh, but he also warns if you are going to have sex with a male dolphin or oral sex with a male dolphin, you can lick the penis, but you mustn't have your head face in the way when it ejaculates because it comes out with such force that it could snap your neck. But, you know, I'd say it's hard, it's hard to get an, uh, an animal's consent. Hard? Is it's it? impossible <laughs> to an get an animal's consent. Well, dolphins consent. are intelligent. You know. Yeah, but they're not what that about, intelligent. What about Flipper and Skippy, the bush kangaroo? They yeah, could communicate. Only Skippy could go, understood. Skippy go... Which is quite and then he could, he'd be he'd doing could, that anyway, he'd wouldn't he? <laughs> he'd have his little kangaroo hand. <laughs> and he could get you again. You like really a, like that like little, little hand, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you keep coming back to little hands. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> Really, little yeah, hands. Tyrannosaurus Rex, you were last week. Tyrannosaurus, and then like the, with a with a kangaroo, it's got an extra pouch as well. You can utilise. So, um, so, uh, but you know, there was a guy that I also didn't write about in the book who had sex with a goat. Uh, and, don't uh, laugh when you say it. He didn't get consent. He didn't get consent, but you know, and the, the police said the goat was very distressed afterwards. But you know, how can you? T- how how were the police able to tell? How do you? T- so how do you know statement. what a distressed goat is? Oh, come know? on. I, 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 know, know, we're being, I know the beyond, bird's distressed. You're beyond... Uh, but then sometimes it said it was, he was calm. One person said the goat was calm. Well, you know, but people kill animals and eat them and they don't get into trouble. If a man's having, just, having consensual sex with a goat, 
behind a piece of uh, corrugated iron. <laughs> then you know, he used to say, the "Who's the biggest?" Iron. That's what he was doing. He was, he, he was he, when he a train stopped by the field in this one, and all the commuters were looking out. And then he really? he didn't stop. He just went. He kind of ducked behind a little corrugated iron. And they still saw him. Well, they, you know, they'd seen him already. Uh-huh. But you know, once you've started, it's having sex with the goat. <laughs> You might as well finish off. I, I'm, you know, uh, I think see, you've, this cro- is... you've crossed the boundary once you've this once is... you've entered the goat. I think when you're stroking the goat, kissing it, yeah, you can you can step back and go, I've gone too far. This is, i you know, I must look into myself. But once your your naked member has entered a goat, I think you might as well just do what you like from there on. Yeah. Well, is... do you like? Are you angry about animals being killed for food because you look at it and think, ah, oh, could have had sex with that if they? What a waste of. Because if that's the reason you're not that you're against killing animals for food. Oh, what a waste! That was a perfectly good cow that I could have bummed. I could have been bumming that cow. Better to wait till it's dead. Not then... bum it when it's dead. <laughs> but then you're not abusing it, are you? You're not abusing it, are you? I think it's worse. To I, I'm I not saying I would, but I, just I think it's worse to have, have necrophiliac sex. Zoophiliac necroph zoo necrophilia. Because there was there was a story at school of some boy at school who got his dog to to lick his. Willie, yeah, you know, there's always that story going and around. Girls putting dog food on the. There's always bars. that, yeah. yeah. I mean, would it be worth it putting dog food on you? I mean, really, it's horrible. Dog food and cat food is pretty horrible. It is pretty horrible, but you know, it's. But I would say the means to an end. I would say I would say being licked out by a dog was worse than having dog food on your genitalia. But you know, again, they're both. There's a quote both over the line. There's a quote. We talked about this for about like fifty minutes. So it's you can't just toss this one off. I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a dog person. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You, you know, like, a cat. A cat is cat. Is, the cat well, is, I, I, when you say you're a cat person, yeah, do I you mean, mean I, I've, that I, you would, would, you... I would find life intolerable without the presence of a feline in the house. When you were going house. about the lion man last week, was that really you expressing some desire to sexualise an animal? No. I, I said was it actually was it actually a cat that was there? And you thought, well, if it was a man, that would excuse what I'm doing to it now. I'm bumming a cat. Oh, that's let's disgusting. pretend. Don't say let's, anything like that about cats. Let's pretend. Just for so when when I get discovered when the photos are discovered of what I'm doing, I'm saying it wasn't a cat; it was a man who just looked a bit like a cat. 